I am going to come into the frame. No, I'll just sit here. <laughs> okay, ready. Today we are going to learn how to thread a sewing machine. Let's get started with Sewing 101. So this is my fashion studio. My name is Farron. Pretty basic stuff. Um, we'll learn how to thread an industrial sewing machine, but I will also try to talk you through threading a domestic machine as well. Don't have a domestic machine here, but we can improvise. The parts are very, very similar. You know, we'll figure it out together, not to worry. Okay, so the equipment you will need, the clippers, these are super important. Every sewer should have a pair of these. Empty bobbin. Look, we got one of those going on. And a bobbin case, you know? Because that is part of the machine. Uh, let's see here, what else do we need? We need some thread, you know? Right there, we got some thread. Okay, all right. First step, I would say, is threading the bobbin. It's kind of annoying when your bobbin just finishes right in the middle of you sewing. The industrial sewing machine is kind of awesome because it has two thread posts. So while you're sewing, you can also be threading a bobbin as well. The domestics don't have this really cool feature. Okay, I will show you how to thread a bobbin. All right, so this bobbin goes on the side of the machine. Uh, onto this little post here. So snap that on and then you take the thread You thread it through the top here do, 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 And Bring it down Through the thread disc Into the little hole here. Yeah, yeah, we got that going on and then you wrap it around your bobbin a few times just to get it started, you know? Get that going on there, started right there. Okay, and then from there, you press this little button. I'm gonna call it a button because I don't know what that thing is called. We got that button going on there. And you need to lift up the presser foot. That's very important because your feed dogs are gonna start like thinking that there's fabric in there and you know, you're gonna have problems. So lift up your presser foot and also take out the bobbin case. If you have another bobbin case in there, you don't want that in there. With thread, it can get all bunched up. So from there, you make sure that your machine is on. All right, that's all. Then we press, give it some gas. Let it go. All right. We're cooking with some gas now. Look at that. Woohoo! I think that's good. Cut your thread. See, that's why you need these things. Take out your little bobbin. Look at that. We got nice fresh thread on there. Okay, you take your bobbin case. And then you put the bobbin right in its little home. Make sure that the thread is directed towards you. Just trust me on this. The thread needs to go towards you. And then you find that little hole here, which is where the needle goes through to pick up the thread. So you take your thread and you drag it through the guides here and just give it a little tug. You see that, you hear that snap? It's in there, it's nice and safe. Threading the machine. Let's do this. Look at my crotch for a second while I get the thread up here in this little hole. So from the back of the machine, um, you thread the thread into the hole from back to front. Back to front, back to front. And then from here, the thread goes through this other thread. What the f is this called? Thread guide. From the thread guide, it goes down into this little hook. 
thread guide and around the disc here, the tension disc, um, into this little tension spring. That's very important that it catches on the spring because it moves your thread and gives it a good tension. From there, you go underneath the hook and up to the thread lever. Very important because it brings your thread up. Um, you'll notice that sometimes in a domestic machine it comes unhooked and this could cause your thread to bunch. So if you have bunching problems, it's probably because of the uptake lever. So always make sure to check that. From there, from the, the uptake lever, you take the thread down to the other hook on the side. And from the hook, you go to another hook near the needle. So, and then from the hook, you go into the needle left to right um, in a domestic machine it is front to back so let's just thread that right now okay that is not going through it always helps to have your clippers nearby These give that a little clip and then let's try again Woohoo! done and then from there you install your bobbin if you haven't already done that. So just, you can open the little door here and look through to make sure that it is clipping in. We got that clipped in. Close the little door. And then from there, you hold your thread and give the hand roller a little roll towards you. Then it picks up the bottom thread. So there you have it. Our threads are ready to sew. So there's a few other parts that you should know about the sewing machine. One is the back stitch. So it's this little lever right here on the industrial. Um, on a domestic, it could be a button. Um, if it's electric or if it's computerized, or it could be also a lever for you as well. Um, and it's very important to back stitch when you begin sewing and when you finish sewing. So there's that. There's also the stitch length dial. On the computerized domestic machines, it could be a button going up and down. It could be also a dial. Um, on the industrial, it is a dial. And you'll see here that you can just move it up and down. Standard is 2.5 or 3, depending on your stitch length. If you want something a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter, then uh, you would have to go down to, you know, like one or one and a half. Or if you're doing a basting stitch, then it is usually the highest you can go. So it's about five or six, depending on your machine. And there's a few other things that you should know. Uh, the pedal, obviously, is at your foot. On the industrial machine, you can actually lift up your presser foot, which is, which is these little guys. They kind of act as a guide to guide your fabric on the feed dogs. So the feed dogs are these little toothy, things on the, the plate of the machine that bring your fabric, as you can see, they are moving. It basically like takes your fabric and lifts it and pulls it. So it kind of, it kind of guides your fabric through the machine. Um, but it's also very good for you to hold your fabric and guide your fabric through. You can see on the plate here, there are, there are measurements, quarter inch, half inch, three quarters, and one inch. These are just basic guides for your seam allowance. Domestic machines have very similar guides on the plate, so just look out for that. Um, but other than that, it's pretty, it's pretty basic. If you have any questions, comment below, and um, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.